This video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Map First Impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Montana. This map can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game mod hub. This map is available for all platforms, and this is kind of an interesting map. It is one of those forestry farming maps. A little bit of farming, a little bit of forestry, maybe mostly forestry, uh, but it does have some defined fields, uh, so you can do some basic small farming if you want to. So let's read a bit of the description. It says, Montana is a forestry map with basic farming capabilities and a small farm. Season's ready. Frozen water during winter, five fields and 16 meadows. I would more or less classify those meadows, meadows as 16 forestry areas, wooded areas. Uh, one selling station for all standard crops, uh, a sell point for wool, one small farm, a bale selling, traffic, one sawmill, vehicle shop, and a big forest. Go ahead and jump on in. Pull up the log. The map is going to load up pretty quick because there's not a lot going on going on here. And here we are. So let's take a look at the map. Start here on right and own this little postage stamp of a field, uh, field one. We take a look at the map lands area. Basically, we own or could own everything to the left of this waterway here. Uh, this area over here is outside of the playable bounds. So what's interesting about this map is the fields specifically are carved out in such a way that you can buy just a field. Then we have big areas of forest or wood, woods type area that you can buy. Not really expensive, $149,166, $200,000. And then you'll see there's three squares carved out, all about $28,000. And then areas around them are obviously for sale, but are much bigger in size. So I think the concept of this would be for someone getting into the forestry uh, to be able to afford these smaller plots without having to basically buy the big kit and caboodle land around it. There is no BGA here on the map. You have our standard crops available to us. And here we can see we have the central grain elevator with all of our standard crops. Got a spinnery for our wool and cotton. You have a sell point for eggs and milk also. And then the barn will accept our hay, straw, grass, and silage. Start out with a small bit of starting equipment. Fairly small stuff, but again, these fields really aren't that big unless you go and expand them or make your own. Do not have any animal pins on the map, therefore we don't have any animals. And we do have some contracts available. Again, all these fields are pretty small. 3.96 acres, 2 acres, 3.89 acres. So you're not going to be making a whole heap ton of money off of the contract system, but they are available. Take a look at that starting equipment. Start with the Fiat 1300 TT and the new Holland TX32 Harvester. Got the HR46X Bampo Roslu, Roslo um, Tree Harvester. We had this on another forestry map as of late. Got the Komatsu uh, Forder uh, Tree Hauler. I guess you want to call it. We've got the HW80 trailer and then the grain header to go with our harvester. We've got the Polymag 300 cultivator, P830 seeder, and then the farm garage. This isn't doesn't include a garage trigger, workshop trigger. It's just the building. And interesting enough, if you load this map up on Farm Manager or start from scratch, this is the only thing that is not here. Everything else you see around you, including the equipment, 
is present in all game modes. Except for this. It's missing in Farm Manager or Start from Scratch. And it's an interesting setup, uh, given the fact that this is simply decorative. Uh, there is also no sleep trigger here at the main farm. If you want a sleep trigger, you're going to have to place it down yourself. Not that big of a deal because there are plenty of placeable sleep triggers. No silo here at the main farm. And this is the little postage stamp of a field. 0.3 acres in size. This should take you all of about, I don't know, two minutes to harvest with your harvester. And that pretty much is a tour of the main farm. What you can see is what you get. So that, let's go ahead and get set up for the fly around. Now, as I said earlier, this is kind of a, a sparsely planted forest. Not really dense. Um, I would verge on not really calling this a forest. I grew up calling something like this the woods. Pretty much what it is. I did not go and look and try to figure out how many trees are here. Uh, it's pretty obvious it's not a heap ton. It might be a couple thousand, but that's about it. Fly over in this direction. Overall, the land is fairly flat with some light rolling hills. Everything on the other side of the river is outside of the player bounds. Won't be able to get over there. And what's interesting is we've got a bridge that is collapsed over here. This would be our only way over to that side of the river. Sadly, the bridge is collapsed. We're not going to be able to get over there. And basically, even if you tried, you're going to run into the, the boundary wall before you even get to the bridge. we going to get some altitude here. The, the lay of the land once you get to the, the spawn uh, distance for the trees. Like how we've got these basic little little roads carved in here. Occasional stacks of, uh, of logs. Gives you a sense that this has been logged before. I mean, they taken timber out of here before, which maybe is why um, the trees are kind of sparse. Some trees have fallen over, so they've, they've died. Then here we've got some of these smaller fields scattered around. The field is two acres in size. Make our way back here. We're going to come into one of those little player squares. We can buy. We're, we're actually in it right now. I uh, do wish there was maybe some way of defining that area so you kind of had a general idea of how big that area was. Right now, you're pretty much just going to have to, um, you know, cut trees until you basically get the you don't own this land prompting. Here we have our forestry equipment that we start out with. And over here in this satellite forestry yard. Really just right across the street from our main farm there. Fuel station. Field 5, which is 3.96 acres. Probably the largest field on the map. And we have our sawmill. Down here, kind of at the, the river's edge. Kind of an interesting plot. You can buy the, the bank of the river for $5,400. And then from a playing standpoint, the only two things left to really talk about are grain cell mill or cell point right here at the mill and then the shop so here we have our vehicle shop we have our shop trigger
Then around back we have the cell and uh, customized spawn point or trigger I should say and then our vehicle spawn point is right here at the start of the shop yard It'll be a fairly straightforward video uh, there is not a uh, animal buy point here on the map so if you want to get animals you're gonna have to put down your own pin and obviously put down your own other stuff yes I'm trying to say so here we've got the spinnery trigger right here beside the grain mill and the grain mill dump station Uh, slow traffic coming through here. The hotel is just a decorative bit. No interactive gameplay elements down there at the hotel. Going down here to the sawmill. Brothers, here we have the barn that is our bale cell point right there behind the blue station wagon. We have our log cell point here, we can either put them in the stanchions or alongside of that, and our log cell trigger. And then around back, we have the wood chips. Let me do a little in-person driving, just kind of through this forest area, wooded area. Like I said, I really don't think that this really classifies as a forest in my book, just because it's not that densely uh, populated with trees. In my mind it more more qualifies just as a wooded area, so a large wooded area. Then this little path is going to dump us out right underneath the uh, the big Montana billboard you saw on the map preview and that is so really the only other thing to uh, talk about is uh, the fuel station coming up here on the right you hey guys that is Montana really really not a lot going on uh, which isn't isn't negative to say with respect to the map uh, just that uh, well isn't a lot going on it is a fairly basic forestry map and uh, and farming map and you can use, either use the predefined fields that are already set up or uh, clear some land out and uh, carve out your own kind of living here on the map. Put down multiple cell points if you wanted to with the new, new placeable system. Really make this map into your own and uh, give some life to it. Let me know in the comments. What do you think of Montana. And until next time, happy farming. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.